Hello and it's um, one week after the referendum exactly, it was just one week ago when we um, voted and uh, we were confident, we were full of hope but um, in the end the other side won and um, I wonder what this means for London. Behind me you can see St Paul's Cathedral and also the uh, gleaming towers of the city of London. Many of those banks will now certainly move jobs uh, to other cities, Paris, Frankfurt, Dublin, Amsterdam. And there's some good that will come out of this for London because I think it puts a dead stop onto gentrification. Um, and uh, you know, one, one of the things that was promised to people was uh, a fall in house prices. And I do think that we'll see a fall in house prices. But a lot of people will suffer as a consequence because so much of uh, British wealth is based on this uh, wealth effect. The idea that people are sitting on houses that are very valuable and against which they take out mortgages. They use their houses as a cash machine. So this is going to end as house prices fall, people might be locked in negative equity and they might find it difficult to keep up their mortgage payments if um, they lose their jobs. So uh, it's not a good thing overall and if people wanted to put a stop to gentrification this was a very um, stupid way to go about it. But having said that, um, I dream of uh, skating in the unfinished towers of Vauxhall. Um, I think London is going to be, uh, Berlin is going to be the new London. Uh, it's going to be a financial commercial center and London might turn into Berlin, which for many years had a lot of space, um, lots of area, uh, space with uh, no purpose, nothing to do. Um, as the former mayor of Berlin once said, uh, we're poor but sexy. Maybe that's the future for London.